Attention customers, we would like to alert you there is a predator within the store that is loose. We repeat, a loose predator is inside the store. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. Yes, there is a bed in my fish room. I got a twin mattress that I've been laying on the floor and kind of just, I sit on the floor and I sit there and look at the fish tanks. I'm completely crazy. I don't know, it's kind of like my meditation state. You could say uh, I'm legally crazy, yes. Anyways, guys, today's video is on aquarium duckweed. I always get asked questions on floating plants per se that people can keep with cichlids and other fish that are super easy because they feel like they don't want the headache of regular normal plants. But anyways, so here, here's how it breaks down. Regular duckweed is kind of seen as this super small, uh, it, it's, it's very small, it's super annoying. Whatever you put inside the tank, your hand, the net, plants, um, it comes out on it. Every time I, I go somewhere, I'll have duckweed all over my hands from digging in my tanks and it's super annoying. But anyways, regular, here, here's the consensus. Update, duckweed sucks. Regular duckweed, there is different strains of duckweed. I'll get to that in a second. But what happens is in planted tanks, the, the duckweed, it covers the entire surface and it starves the plants from lighting because once a week I got to get in here and net all of this so that my regular plants can actually get some lighting and what happens is I throw it in a bag I've tried feeding it to my goldfish that I have so much of it they can't keep up yeah uh, it's duckweed guys regular duckweed sucks look at I just cleaned my hands kind of and it's still all over and it, it gets in filters it sucks I'm gonna say that 300 times but let's talk about some other floating plants you guys know that I've been a huge advocate of floating plants and utilizing them in pretty much all of my tanks, except planted tanks. And the number one reason you don't want floating plants in a nice planted tank like this one is because it robs all of your light from the plants in the water column. As you can see, this duckweed is stealing all of the light that's coming off of the, the light itself. So all of these plants down here aren't getting as much light, whereas these, the invasive plants, are stealing all of the lighting. So I clean this little tank probably once a week, and it's covered in this duckweed. And when people talk about duckweed, there's, there's tons of different types of duckweed, but this is the most generic style of duckweed. It's really small, filters hate it, it's so intrusive and people with plants absolutely hate it till they just go to the grave. But anyways, um, what I found that the most common way to get this duckweed on accident is by getting plants from local fish keepers because a lot of times when you're pulling plants and bringing them to auctions and what have you, this stuff gets on your plants because it sticks to everything coming out of the water. Like watch this, I'll, di I'll dip my hand in the tank and as I come out, it's just covered. And you can say the same with everything, your nets, the plants, uh, everything that goes in there, your hands, it's absolutely super intrusive and I hate it. But there are different types of duckweed. I also utilize um, what is called giant duckweed. And this is it right here, I'm pretty sure. And guys, I'm not a super scientific guy with plants, you guys know this but I do know some, so I'm gonna speak on behalf of this because a lot of people have been asking me about this mixture of all of the floating plants I've been using in the tanks and people have really been digging the look of my tanks. And I gotta say, the floating plants have really brought down the amount of water changes. Um, I could also do a separate video on kind of some of, some of the setbacks that a person would have using floating plants like this even though it's tremendously valuable on your water parameters i uh, i could also argue that things get in your water column and it's super messy like here i'll show you this one over here look at these roots on this floating plant right here it's just a hot mess right and if a fish were to per se move this just a simple little jiggle that's what happens to your water. And it, it completely sucks. They're super messy, but um, 
the water parameters. Like that's what it's all about, right guys? So if you're wondering what type of duckweed to go with, I would tell you in my honest opinion, stay away from this duckweed. The, uh, the rhetoric generic duckweed that is always kind of referenced as duckweed, even though there's giant duckweed, there's like hundreds of different strains of it, I believe. But this stuff completely sucks. I hate it. I even try to feed it to my goldfish, but my goldfish don't like to eat it because it floats and they don't like to eat from the surface because they're used to eating sinking food. I don't know, I could rant upon this for hours probably, but hopefully that helps you answer some questions. A lot of people have been reaching out to me asking me, Chris, will you sell me a bag of this floating plant mixture? And I have been doing that for some of the, the locals, but I have to check into shipping this stuff just because I'm sure, um, you know, the government or USPS is probably going to hate the idea of sending intrusive, invasive plants across the different states per se. But I love it, guys. I got these a lot of these locally from other fish keepers. And I mean, it really kind of, you know, you obviously aren't going to have regular root plants. You either kind of have to choose one or the other, but with cichlids, this is a great plan of attack and it is absolutely, uh... oh, the lighting. I forgot to talk about the lighting. These are $20 shop light LEDs. Literally, uh, this is the one you can get from Walmart. It's a little bigger housing, $16, guys. And there's dual, um, dual ballast, I guess you could call it, or diodes, whatever, uh, dual two, two tubes of runs of diodes. I think that's how you would pronounce that. So let me flip the cam here. Well guys, that kind of wraps up my experience on keeping duckweed. Uh, I absolutely hate it. And uh, I should say the regular duckweed, I, I, I can deal with the other larger strains of duckweed. But um, once a week, I open up my planet tanks in here in the office and I, I sit here and net all of the duckweed out of my planted tank so that the regular plants can actually have a chance to grow because without it it's going to kill all my swords it's going to kill all my pretty much everything because it's going to steal all your light and how good are your lights going to be or how good are your plants going to be without light per se so let me know in the comment section what's your ideas on keeping duckweed maybe you've been thinking about it i know a, a lot of people have told me that when they get online or if they get on aquabid sometimes it's tough to buy duckweed because um, at certain times of the year it's not supposed to be shipped here and there and there's a lot of regulations on invasive plants per se but i've never had an issue getting it because it's always just came on my plants that i've gotten from local uh, fish keepers and stuff so all right guys Woo.